Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Town channel. I'm John Zimmerman, and this is part three of my first day riding in Savole in the Netherlands. Enjoy. Going to our next destination. Again, this is one of the more unfortunate designs that I see frequently in the Netherlands. The reason why I say unfortunate is just, you know, demonstrated by that motor vehicle traveling at significantly faster speed each motor vehicle in each direction has a very wide lane but the bike lane is once again in a door zone um, this is really unacceptable design for the Netherlands and uh, yeah it's just you know mind-boggling that uh, they continue to accept this no they don't accept it at the intersection so let's take a look at how they handle this intersection this is a roundabout design and again not exactly the best class you know best design strategy it's fairly comfortable but again it's not a protected roundabout even though it looks like there's really no doubt that we have priority here but uh, yeah it's a uh, I'm a little surprised that it's that's that it's quite like this it's probably just because it's so incredibly quiet, you know, in this area. But yeah, I guess I would have expected more. So protected roundabout here though. So now we see a little bit more protection, but what we don't see is the staging area for the motor vehicle drivers. We do see the motor vehicles coming to a pause. And they do pause here too. So these are two roundabouts in a row. One with some protection in the roundabout and one without. You can see motorist behavior and bicycle rider behavior and again the protection here which is nice ah so this is interesting. So this is a case where it's a roundabout for bicycles, but it's not a roundabout for the motor vehicle drivers, which was the point I think of this particular roundabout is that it helps to create, you know, less traffic on these side streets because the motor vehicles cannot easily access these side streets however on a bike you can so this is basically serving as a modal filter first time around I didn't notice that I think I needed to read the comments a little better a little more closely in the uh, self-guided tour but that's exactly what this is about and uh, I do kind of remember reading about this particular intersection And 
and you can see a family making their way through quite comfortably. She's coming around and then heading out. Okay, this is brilliant. Don't like the other one where there's absolutely no protection, but uh, this works out quite well. Again. Nice. Okay, so now we're into the first look of this type of uh, infrastructure here in Zola. We have our little shared street here with the parked cars. The main road is on the other side of the trees. This is a common design that we've seen in many other cities. It's the first time seeing it here. We, uh, you can hear the rattle of the bike. This is old brick pavers. And so it's uh, designed to rattle the car a bit. Keep them, keep their speed down. However, as you can tell, It rattles the heck out of the Brompton. I'm kind of riding on the leaves a little bit to uh, <laughs> kind of smooth things out. There's this longitudinal line of bricks. It's certainly a little less torture. But uh, all right, let's see what the next the next stop has for us. Okay, and you can see there's no parking on this street. Most of these houses have driveways, so there's no cars out here. But we are coming up to a pretty major intersection here. And it looks like we do have separate cycle lanes, cycling infrastructure in this environment. So. Let's take a look. We've got our cycle lane here, cycle path here, cycle path over in the distance there where you can see a couple of gals queued up. And in the intersection itself, you see sort of our standard Dutch design in terms of lights, bicycle lights, uh, bicycle signals. And then in the distance there, you'll see the cycle path goes into a nice LA of trees. And so we're gonna go take that. And then uh, maybe come back and take this too. This is nice. OK. 
Okay, we're gonna come on up. I think this means that we have been indicated and we have pressed the button and waiting for our signal. And we can see the countdown here at the button. It's letting me know that it is about to turn and it did, just did. And you can see got a nice treatment heading in that direction and already had a green light to head in that direction. But again, as promised, we're gonna head down through this beautiful alley of trees. Then we'll uh, do a U-turn and come back through that intersection once again. And then, Okay, we're gonna follow this little sign to the bike path. Nice little sculpture with a squirrel there. And here we are. One of the more impressive tree LAs that we've uh, experienced on this trip. Certainly the uh, impressive trees on the way into The Hague. It's pretty cool, but uh, I'm digging this. This is really nice. It's nice to feel like you're just cycling through a forest and it's all lined up just for you. There's something very, very comforting about riding through a column of trees. Okay, and here's this little cycle path here. Let's actually take this for a little bit. This looks like it's a bus and bike installation. So the transit stop there. Let's approach that intersection from this direction. And then head on up the way. As I understand it, this is one of the busiest intersections in the city. Obviously not on a Sunday. And again, we press the button. It indicates that we're here. It knows that we're here and gives a countdown, giving us the green light. These are like very, very simple details that are incredibly important. So you can see we've got our own little path here. These are pavers, but they're relatively smooth. And then we have a little hedge and a curb protecting us from the high speed motorway there. We're gonna go up over Canal Bridge. And a beautiful little environment here. Got some old boats, looks like a houseboat or two. Yeah. 
and in the distance there was the canal path and looks like folks were using it for recreational purposes doing some running going for a walk looks like a pretty narrow path here it is on the other side yep it's a pedestrian zone very nice little playground area over here and park very cool hey this is the perfect place to bring part three of this first ride in Zavole to an end thank you all so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and share it with a friend and if you haven't done so already be honored to have you subscribe to the channel just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell until next time this is john signing off by wishing you much activity health and happiness cheers and again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.